Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to show you a Android application called APK Time. It is uh, made by Smash the Gaming Canuck. Uh, the website that we're going to visit will, uh, will also later download these apps, but the APK apps, uh, APK Time app is very easy to use and uh, allows you to download all the apps anyway as well. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to have is a mouse function as well for easier navigation down the screen. And we're going to open up a web browser. So let's open up Chrome here. And then I'm going to navigate to this web address, mediarepos.org forward slash APKZ with a capital A. So just uh, check the description down below and also you can just read the web browser that I have up the top here. Uh, so that's M-E-D-I-A-R-E-P-O-S dot org forward slash capital A lowercase p lowercase k lowercase z. Once you've put that into the web browser on your Android device, simply scroll down until we find this APK time with the bell and use our mouse to go over to APK time 1.6. Click on it once and if you have ES File Explorer already installed on your device, this screen will pop up. For those that don't, I'm going to show a different way of finding the app after it's finished installing. So all I'm going to do is exit back out to my main screen. And for those who can't install this uh, stock standard, you will need to open up install unknown sources. So you'll need to first of all head to your settings. And on a phone it won't look like this you'll have one that looks like this and for those that are Android boxes you'll have to go to your more settings to be able to access this or just check your instruction manual how to access the um, security function on your Android operating device. Next you'll need to come and find security now depending on which version of Android you're on will depend on uh, where the security will be just have a look around for that and then next we're looking for unknown sources which is here so if it's not ticked it will be white in color already and then when you do tick it a little box is going to come up and just press OK now you can exit back out to the main screen And we're going to go to the app folder here. And stock standard most boxes or devices will come with a folder browser or file browser like so. And now you just need to navigate until you find a download folder like so and now we're looking for APK time highlight it and press OK and this screen will pop up and then press the word install now just sit back relax and wait for it to install and we're just going to go done I'm going to exit out of the file browser and once again you can navigate to your apps drawer so on a phone for instance there's uh, either four or nine little squares together that's all the apps you've installed and you'll be able to go through them and it will appear under APK time when it opens up So next we just need to open up APK time like this.
I mean, once it opens up, you'll see there's a uh, multiple list here. And be aware there are adult apps in here right down the bottom. So for those who have young kids, I would not leave this installer app on here. I would uninstall it once I've finished downloading the apps that I want out of here. So what are we going to find with inside here? We're going to find entertainment apps. We're going to find utility apps. We're going to find modified apps, such as ones that will uh, get rid of advertising on the screen. And we're also going to be able to find uh, paid versions of some apps such as ES File Explorer um, and a few others in here, uh, Spotify, things like that, modified. So let's just go through and see, starting with the top apps. These are the ones that most people have been downloading. So you've got Musical, uh, very similar to Spotify. You've got a different uh, launcher for your Android box. You've got Showbox. There's a modified version of Spotify. So essentially, if you were subscribing to Spotify, all the features here have been modified to uh, work for you. No advertising in it. Uh, TTV, uh, once again, this would have advertising all over it and has been modified to get rid of it. And if you saw a video I did previously on Terrarium TV, there is a an official version uh, through the direct website. And this one here is the exact same version, but without the advertising. So no little banner down the bottom, no advertising between watching one episode to the next or one movie to the next. Uh, the downside to these premium uh, at free versions and down the bottom you'll read it says this app has no advertisement uninstall old versions of the APK first to avoid errors and this will be true for most of them uh, there is no update function with inside here so as the developers bring out newer versions you will have to come to apps like this and hopefully have a modified version uninstall the old one first install the newer version uh, but losing things like your favorites uh, that you may have put into the folders. So that's the downside to them. The upside is no advertising. So let's show you how to use it. We're going to use TTV as a demonstration. So we're going to hit the download button once. And for the very first time, we're going to allow it to access the files, enabling us to download the file onto the device. And this is just an installable file. This isn't the actual file uh, to run it. And then once it's finished downloading, a installation page will come up. Simply highlight the word install. And now we just have to sit back and wait for the app to be installed. Now there is an example of having an older version already on the box and then trying to install it over the top so you would have to uninstall it. Let's pick a different one that I wouldn't have installed on the box yet. Let's try this musical. So download musical. So with the example of the other one before, I would have to exit out of this uh, application, go and uninstall TTV, Tea Time TV, and then come back, re-download that because it's not physically stored on the uh, box, and then install it again for it to work. And there we go, that's one that's been installed. Now I can open it up directly from here, or as we showed before when we installed the APK Time app, we can exit out to the main screen, go to the app drawer, and open that up and find it there. So this would have an official version somewhere as well. And you can see um, a developer named Rise has modified this with all the adverts gone. So Possibly in the middle we would have a Google advert and things like that. And so directly from here you'd be able to go and play any of these 
uh, musics. Uh, you can create your own uh, playlists as well up in the menu here, I would assume, and things like that. So, yeah, under your music, uh, things like that. Just exit back out. We can now go back to tea time again. We can go into a different area. Let's say we go to live. So we have different apps here that do live television from around the world. We have the men, eDoctor, which is already available in the Google Play Store, Easy Live TV, Embraria, Emb Embratoria G7, also available in the Google Play Store. However, this one here it has taken the adverts out of it. Exodus Live is a brand new one with on-demand movies, TV shows, and live TV channels. Um, again, a lot of these are going to require a mouse function. Uh, if you are finding that GeoStreams is uh, annoying you with the adverts, you can uninstall that one and put this one on here instead. So all of these are live TV. Now, not all of them are going to be the most current version as well. So you may find that Live Lounge, you'll install that. And by the time you open it up, it'll probably come up and say there's a new version to download. Uh, Mobdro for low quality streams with uh, very little uh, buffering in them as well. Redbox TV, very similar to uh, Swift Streams or LiveNet TV even, very similar to that. Show Sports, nothing but sports channels uh, with little icons. Uh, mouse is definitely needed. Snappy Streams works exactly the same as um, Swift Streams. Uh, there's Swift Streams itself with any, without any adverts. Again, uninstall the old versions first before installing these ones. Split TV, UK TV, UK TV Now, US TV, World Sports Streams. So, very easy way to find apps that uh, do live TV. And, uh, of course, there is more and more and more in here. Different types of versions of Kodi, or the actual Kodi uh, versions. Uh, these are apps that are only going to be for Amazon Fire devices only, like the Fire Stick, um, Fire Box, things like that. Uh, modif modifying tools such as Lucky Patcher, APK Editor. Um, Lucky Patcher is probably the easiest one to use. Uh, it seems to work the most. In your essentials, you've got AdGuard, gets rid of adverts in uh, web pages. We have the APK Time app. Uh, app tray uh, launcher, a uh, different way of the uh, screen looking. ES File Explorer, there's a pro version. The uh, ch free version in the Google Play Store is blue in color. This gives you no advertising and there will be a few extra features that you can uh, enable in this one here. Full screen, a VPN uh, that a lot of people use. Speed test to check your internet uh, speeds from your devices. A different type of launcher as well there. And the list will go on and on and on and on and on. So that's APK Time by Smash the Gaming Canuck. Uh, once again, I'll leave a link to his videos below and the web address also in the description below. And uh, follow him if you'd like to see uh, his reviews of apps as well. Um, there's a lot of people doing them. I just like to take my time with them, that's all, so that everybody can understand them. Because not everybody's very fast at clicking and moving around the screens. And I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. And if you do, hit that uh, subscribe button and the little bell to be notified of any new uh, videos that I post up on YouTube. And until next time, I uh, hope you enjoyed this review and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.